there's a couple of news stories here, and one of them probably doesn't sound like a big-time news story, um, but I'm actually going to start with it. And you're going to ask yourself, why? And I will explain. Sasha Banks says she is good after she was helped to the back following our show match against Charlotte in Fayetteville on uh, whatever day it was. Video and photos from the match show Banks landing awkwardly on a tilt-a-whirl backbreaker, and her left knee appears to buckle. Uh, there then appears to be a communication with the referee in the match, followed by a pause in the action as Banks looks to be determining whether or not she can make it back to her feet. After Charlotte's double moonsault spot, Banks reversed a cradle. Flair quickly hit natural selection for the pin. The referee threw up the old X sign. Banks was helped to the back by the referee and WWE ringside physician Dr. Chris Amon. Uh, Sasha later tweeted, quote, I'm good. So looks like a serious injury has been avoided here. Uh, by the way, to digress quickly, which has really nothing to do with anything, but I was meeting my dad somewhere yesterday, and uh, it's been snowing here, and it's all icy, and I pulled up to where we were meeting, and my dad's walking down the steps of this building, and he's heading towards his, his uh, car, and dude, he's 78 years old, and he slipped on this ice, and he took a, this bump, and I thought, oh my god, and he just got up and kept walking, and then I went over to him, and I was like, Dad, are you all right? He goes, you saw that? <laughs> I said, yeah, are you all right? And he goes, yeah, uh, my my knee twisted weird, but I'm all right. So anyway, I don't know how he survived, but he was totally fine. Well, and did he throw his hands out and take it flat oh, back? Oh, man, like this was a bump on cement in the ice, and he totally didn't sell it. But anyway, the point is, you know, sometimes you you something happens to your knee and you presume the worst, and then everything is fine. So yeah. hopefully that's what happened to, to Sasha. But there's a reason I bring this up. Roman Reigns has COVID, and uh, he was pulled from day one, obviously. The match was supposed to be Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. With Roman Reigns out, they moved Brock Lesnar to the Raw WWE Championship match. Brock Lesnar won the match, beating Big E. He is the new WWE champion. And uh, as we're going through a lot of stories real quick. The new feud for the moment is going to be Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship. Brock is officially now on Raw. I'm not sure if Fox is aware of that or not, but when they are, I'm sure they'll be thrilled. But he's a free agent, so, you know, he can show up on SmackDown whenever. But with him going to Raw for the time being and feuding with Lashley, the the WrestleMania main event at this point appears to still be Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. I do not know what this means, but as of 20 minutes ago or so, it was not going to be a title versus title match. What that means, I don't know. It could mean that uh, Brock will not be champion by the time Mania rolls around. It could mean that they're just going to do, you know, champion versus champion like Survivor Series, but each belt is not on the line. I don't know what it means, but as of 20 minutes ago, as of today, they are not doing like a title versus title unification match at WrestleMania. Everything could change. But anyway, the reason I bring up Sasha in all of this is... Because of, of, you remember last week, like everybody had COVID and like everything was being shuffled around and everything like that. There was a, there was a point last week where, uh, because of everybody getting whatever and people like Tony Storm being gone, there was like one baby face woman on SmackDown. And I'm pretty sure it was Sasha, but I'm not positive because, you know, I heard one baby face woman, but if you watch the show, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes who's what. But uh, if Sasha would have been out, they would have been down to zero baby faces on SmackDown. That leads us to Roman Reigns here, who now that he will not be feuding with Brock Lesnar on SmackDown, now the question is, with Brock on Raw feuding with Lashley, who is Roman Reigns going to feud with on SmackDown? We're going to go over the SmackDown roster after the break, and I want you to try to figure out this mystery. Back in a moment, Observer Live. 
Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Uh, Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Sonny's buffalo head just appeared on that thing, and I had a hearty laugh. Okay. So, before the break, we were talking about uh, Roman Reigns going down with COVID, everything being changed on the day one show. Now, it is Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley on Raw, and Roman Reigns has to do something until they go back to Lesnar and Roman Reigns heading into WrestleMania. So, you know what's funny about this, too, is, uh, you know, perhaps there are people that work for WWE today that woke up today and were like, my God, what, what are we going to do? Bro, when was the draft? October? Dude, we talked in October about how horrible this SmackDown roster was. And I'm not talking about, like, individual wrestlers. Like, you know, I like a lot of the people that are working there. But if you look at who WWE is booking as main eventers, because they don't book a lot. I mean, SmackDown had nobody. Well, now it's even worse. All right, so Roman Reigns has to feud with somebody from now until, whatever, March, when they start doing the... Uh, br- Let's look at who... Who the male superstars are on the SmackDown roster, okay? These are your potential opponents for Roman Reigns. Angel Garza, not going to happen. Baron Corbin, which I guess could happen, but he's a heel. Cesaro, who they already had Roman destroy. Drew Gulak, not happening. Eric and Ivar of the Viking Raiders, they're a tag team. Umberto Carrillo, the Usos, who are, you know, partners with Roman Reigns. Jinder Mahal, who I haven't seen in forever. We have Kofi. I guess maybe Kofi or Woods could step up because uh, I guess that Brock's the one that's defeated all of the New Day. But we've got Mace, Madcap Moss, Mansoor, Ali, whatever that guy, Boogs, Ricochet, Ridge Holland, Sami Zayn, Old Shankly, Sheamus, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Xavier Woods. That is your entire SmackDown male roster. And of course, the name I did not mention is Drew McIntyre, who probably was supposed to be in that spot. But unfortunately, Drew McIntyre has a neck injury. And uh, Drew McIntyre was written out of storylines on the show Sunday when uh, Madcap and Baron attacked him and uh, pilmanized his neck with a steel chair. And he's going to take some time off, and hopefully his neck gets better. If it doesn't get better, it's possible he would need major surgery. So he's, he's out of the running. So looking at the lineup right there, like, bro, what's going on? I mean, I know what's going on. They don't have any ability to make stars, nor do they even try, with the exception of, like, one or two people on each brand. But this is just Sasha and COVID and Roman and Lesnar being switched and Drew being out. It is it is so patently obvious that the way that they book their television, it, it teeters by a thread. Unlike AEW, where... They very much try to elevate a lot of people. And what happens is fans get upset about, oh, well, you know, I haven't seen so-and-so in a long time. And Bro, it's way better off to have too many stars that you can't see on television every week than to have, like, four stars. And if two of them get injured and then COVID strikes, you got nothing! And that's what they have right now is essentially nothing for Roman Reigns. What's your knee-jerk reaction? Shinsuke Nakamura? You know, Damien Bro, Priest. Bro, I don't know what they're going to do. I presume they're going to do, like, Corbin. Because uh, what, what sucks and what would be a WWE idea, even though it stinks, which makes it a WWE idea, would be because Damien Priest keeps freaking out, he loses the title by some nefarious way or does something, gets himself suspended and thrown off the show by Adam Pierce, and he's got to go to SmackDown. Is that a stupid idea? Yes. Would that be something they would do? Yes. Would it get Damian Priest over to SmackDown? So at least we have two guys that people may want to see square off and throw fists at each other. 
Yeah, you know, it actually would fill the void for a while and be something different other than Sheamus and Nakamura, because other than that, I don't know what else you do. I don't know how long. I mean, a nose, a broken nose is not going to put uh, Rich Holland on ice for a long time. But if you wanted to use this as an excuse and flip Sheamus babyface, you know, he doesn't have to be a grand baby face people just like seeing Seamus punch people and if that's how you market Seamus and Roman it gives you some relief for a little bit that's the only thing I can think of besides Shinsuke Nakamura because what are you going to do call somebody up from NXT you could do that but well you, you know call? they always could call up somebody from NXT and his name is Braun Breaker and you know what happened if that happened I'd have a thousand dollars heading to Whale Scout here three years earlier than I was expecting but anyway, not well. Hold on now. Wasn't that about not messing him up too, or was this just the WrestleMania being in the main event? I can't remember how this one went down. Well, I, I said he would main event within three years, but I mean, well. if they bring up if they bring up Braun, I mean, you know, he's he they'd be doing something. Braun Breaker is main eventing between next year's Braun, WrestleMania. Roman, Brock, Lashley. Some they we we we'd see something sooner than a lot of people think. Like 2023, he's getting one of those days. If it's two days, Braun Breaker guaranteed is going to be in the mix for one of those days. Can't believe it won't happen. They need they need it, and they're going to rush it because they have to. You know, the next project at that point can be Gable Stevenson because he should be done at that point with Minnesota and all that. His his college career should be over with, I think, at that point. So he can be the next guy you want to throw on NXT TV, you know, ice cold, and then bring Braun Breaker up. I, that that would, I guess, make some sense. Again, maybe it's just that as a Canadian who has always had health insurance, this doesn't seem, Max, smart enough to this, be a big this deal. This is going to go to the best of right here, Lance. Yeah. You're being corralled away by uh, by this dog. By a dog trying to eat my wife's uh, boots. Oh, man. Oh, they said they must be tasty. Yeah, if my wife gets home and her good leather boots are chewed up, I'm dead. You'll be chewed up next. Yeah, I'll be living outside with the dog. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.